Hey, how's it going YouTube? It's your boy Sam and Sauce. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my choice for the top five playmaking badges in 2K21 Next Gen. Now, before we get into that, please remember to subscribe if you're new, join the brown shirt army, and leave a like on the video to help the brown shirt army grow. I'm never gonna change out of this brown shirt for 2K21. 2K keeps ripping us off, so I'm not gonna spend my VC on all their dumbass overpriced clothing. So join the brown shirt army, and now let's get into these playmaking badges. So here's the playmaking badges on my small forward build. I get 14 badge upgrades, which is decent, and this is how I split it up. Now I know I said this was a top 5, but I have 6 badges selected, so let me, let me just start with number 6 first. Number 6 is unpluckable. Having this badge on bronze is going to make it slightly harder for them to steal the ball from you. Now it's not going to make too big of a difference and if they keep on double teaming you and attacking you and spamming X, you are going to get the ball stripped away from you. But just throwing it on as a bronze badge is going to help you get the ball stolen from you significantly less often. Now number 5 is tight handles. Now, tight handles is sort of like a weaker version of ankle breaker. So then why do I have tight handles in my top 5 and not ankle breaker? It's because ankle breaker activates way less often than tight handles does. You're not gonna drop your opponent using tight handles, but it's gonna slow them down while you're doing your dribble size up. And it's gonna help you get around your defender a lot easier. Ankle Breaker is once in a while going to help you drop your defender, but it's not going to work as often as Tight Handles does. So I feel like this is more reliable. Now number 4 I'm gonna give to Special Delivery. Special Delivery is so good because it boosts both the passer and the receiver's takeover meter after a flashy pass assist. Not only that, but if you press Y and look at the description of Special Delivery, it also gives you more alley-oop pass animations. So this badge is also basically alley-oop passer as well, it has that badge mixed into it. And considering how easy it is to dunk in this game, this is going to be a really helpful badge to have. Now at number 3, I have Dimer. Anyone who handles the ball a lot on your team should have Dimer on because obviously if you want to pass it to one of your teammates, you want to increase the chance of them hitting their shot. Now if you're a big man, this might not be as helpful since you're not handling the ball as much, so if you're a big man, you could maybe go with Relay Passer instead because if you inbound the ball to the point guard, they could get an assist better. And also Break Start is another good one for big men. But for anyone handling the ball, Dimer is an excellent batch to have, and I think it's a must-have. Now for number 2, I have Bullet Passer. I'm really happy that they added this badge because one of the things that bothered me most in 2K was how slow some of the passes were. All those slow passes would get stolen so easily, and with the Bullet Passer badge, you could get the ball to your teammate faster, and that way making it harder for your opponent to steal the ball. But anyway, moving on to the number one best playmaking badge, this shouldn't be any surprise, it's been the best playmaking badge for years now, and that is Quick First Step. The speed boost that you get from this badge helps you get around your defender so much more easily. I don't think I need to explain that to you guys, I'm pretty sure everyone has agreed at this point that this is the best playmaking badge. There's a lot of good playmaking badges that I didn't include, like Handles for Days. I know a lot of people love this badge, but I unlocked the Gym Rat badge, so I have permanent Gatorade boost from that. And also, whenever I play Rec, I usually buy extra Gatorade boosts just to preserve my stamina. And all of that extra boost I get sort of replaces the need to have Handles for Days, because I'm already preserving enough stamina from doing that. And for someone that has maybe 20 or more playmaking badge upgrades, Floor General is also a huge one. Because that's going to give plus 4 to all your teammates. But that's pretty much all I have to say about the playmaking badges in this game. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions. Or if you want to know more specifically what playmaking badges would be best for your build. And I'll try to answer your questions as soon as I can. Again, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram so you could stay tuned with all the new content coming out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching, and have a splendid day. Hey! <laughs>